Happy January 21st, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Quill waited in a line to get into Crown Spire City, and uh, she persuaded a rat to curtail his thieving ways, and we were rewarded with a warding ointment, and Amber, we're up to nine. Today, we get to play the lottery, and odds are in our favor in this lottery. You're more likely to gain than to lose Amber if, if the dice aren't being grumpy. So let's go to the rules for the lottery. We roll a six-sided die. One or two, we lose Amber. Everything else, we gain some. So here we go. Four. Gain two Amber. All right, Quill is up to 11. Amber. That's a, I don't think that's the most we've had. I think Talk had slightly more in the end. But that's Quill. Um, and that is it for now for Quill. For some reason, I thought there were four introductory characters. But in the comments, Rhea pointed out there are actually six. So we have three more friends to meet. Let's see who we will be adventuring with this week. Oh, a mouse. Let's see, we can find her in the book here, too. Cora Wildclaw. Cora, oh, Coral Wildclaw and Jim. Jim's our ladybug pet. That's cool. Cora Sage Bloom is the heir to the throne should her mother Queen Enid ever die or fail in her duties. Okay, Cora, we've got a, um, she's the heir apparent, so she's a princess. Her mother's strict oversight and the royal guard's constant watch continued to suppress her desire for adventure. Cora convinced her mother to let her train in the art of the blade. She uses her skills as an art form to meditate and relax as much as she does for self-defense and discipline. As a blade dancer, Cora can summon ethereal blades that swirl around her, moving with every motion. These blades can be controlled and directed to slice through enemies with finesse and precision. Crikey. Um, don't mess with Cora. Cora goes by Wild Claw. Okay, that's why we have... That's her alias. Cora goes by Wild Claw to protect her identity when sneaking out of the castle. Today she plans to join the people in the Turning Leaf Festival and enter the Leaf Riding. Leaf Riding Tournament. There we now we're talking. Okay. Leaf Riding Tournament. Sweet. Mouse Blade Dancer. You'll use this character for the following pages until told otherwise. That's like previous weeks. Um on the back of her back of this sheet is her character sheet yeah but we can look at it here Coral wild claw so we've got let's hide the image there we go Coral wild claw um oops i think that's here we go here's her starting level Coral wild claw Good dexterity, good charisma. Makes sense. She's royalty. Um, stealthy. Add plus two to all rolls to sneak and remain hidden. That's cool. Regal influence. Once per page, reroll any charisma roll. And flurry of daggers. Once per rest, gain d6 bonus to all attack rolls on the page. Um... Plus three attack, plus two defense. These are great. Damage D6. Okay, that's that's the lowest damage we've seen, I think. That might that might be tough. She's more likely to hit, but uh Um She she can add once per rest she can add to her damage. These once per rest abilities are tough because uh you don't you don't know when you're gonna get to rest. At least I don't have a sense yet of we haven't been told to rest yet uh, you don't rest until I think the calendar lets you so 
I like the ones per page <laughs> abilities better. I'm more likely to use them. I'm more likely to save these because I don't know when I'm going to be able to use them again. Health is 11. That was what Quill was. So, yeah, there's Cora and Gem. Awesome. Okay, that is it for now. Uh, we'll say goodbye for today. And we'll visit Cora and Gem tomorrow and see what they're up to. I hope you will join us. Thanks for watching.